Dear David, you say I'm a terrorist sympathizer. You say I'm a terrorist sympathizer because I have sympathy with the people of Palestine. For all the little Nelson Mandela's there standing up against occupation, ethnic cleansing, and apartheid. You say I'm a terrorist sympathizer. But you, sir, are a terrorist supporter. You support the Israeli government, which is responsible for those crimes. You say, I'm a terrorist sympathizer. You say, I'm a terrorist sympathizer because I believe in peace before war, in holding peace talks with the likes of Sinn Fein and Hezbollah, in opposing our wars of aggression, in campaigning for a nuclear free world. You say, I'm a terrorist sympathizer, but you, sir, are a terrorist funder. You support our sales of arms to Saudi Arabia, one of the worst countries on the planet when it comes to human rights abuses. You turn a blind eye when those weapons are used to kill thousands of Yemenis. You turn a blind eye when those weapons end up in the hands of ISIS. You'd even be prepared to use nuclear weapons. You say, I'm a terrorist sympathizer? You say, I'm a terrorist sympathizer because I oppose austerity. Because I believe in investing in our future. And being there for people in need, on creating a greater, more prosperous Britain. You say, I'm a terrorist sympathizer? But you, sir, are a terrorist yourself. You enact policies which terrorize the very people you are supposed to represent. Your welfare cuts have led to deaths all across the country. Your academization of schools has left a whole profession on the brink. You even want to take our hard-earned human rights away from us. You say, I'm a terrorist sympathizer? You accuse me of having a speck of dust in my eye? Well, there's a whole log in your own. You say, I'm a terrorist sympathizer. Take a look in the mirror, sir. You say, I'm a terrorist sympathizer? But you, sir, are a terrorist. <laughs>